Hello and welcome back to Football Index Moneyball with the next instalment in the Pick of the Day series. For today's video, I'm a little bit tight for time so it's not going to be quite as long or as detailed as usual but hopefully all the key data is going to be there and you're still going to have a good pick at the end of it. Last week's pick, Gene Kevin Augustine, went really well after moving to Leeds and I'm hoping that this player, although not quite as quick a reaction, he's got a lot of potential in his price. Before we get going, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can search for at Index Moneyball. And if you're interested in the Patreon page, then you can take a look at that through the description. There's a link in there. And thanks to all the people who've signed up so far. There's some bonus content, some extra picks, and you can also get portfolio reviews in there if you're interested. So the player I've gone for today is Lucas Alerio. He's a centre forward who plays at Bayer Leverkusen in Germany. And he's 27 year old from Argentina. If we look at his price graph, he's actually up almost at his peak he hit as high as 60p but he's been on the bench quite a lot the last season and pretty much the last two seasons really but back in 17-18 he had a really good season by august of that year in 2018 he was up at 46p so he's only 7p above that 18 months later which is not much on the index and the reason for buying this player is mainly because of comparative value to other similar strikers now I think that the price he's currently sitting at is factoring in the fact that he's sat on the bench most weeks. And with two years left on his contract, I think there's potential that if Bayer Leverkusen hold on to all their other strikers, they may look to offload Alario. And then if Volland was to be snapped up by someone else, then that would free up a spot in the starting lineup for him. And despite his limited opportunities, he's still scored quite a lot of goals, as we're gonna see in a second. So coming over here to Luke Solero's transfer marks, we can see he's got a few trophies from his time at River Plate. He's a centre forward, 27 from Argentina, and he has eight caps and three goals. Now for me, that says a fair amount about him, and he has actually been selected in some of the more recent squads, despite his lack of opportunities at Leverkusen. So as I was saying, if you look at his stats from this season, he scored seven goals and two assists in 21 appearances. But he's only featured for just over a thousand minutes which is roughly 11 games so he's doing pretty well and then when you go to his overall stats he has 200 appearances 70 goals and 23 assists which works out to 0.64 goals and assists per 90. for positional he's definitely a center forward only he's got one appearance as a second striker and one as attacking mid so there's no versatility to this player he's just an out and out center forward but there has been a bit of demand for center forwards especially in this transfer window with William Jose and Piatek and there's a lot of clubs who are kind of searching for the out and out striker even if they don't use him in every game so I do think there's people who are probably going to be in the market for either Alario or Volland and I do think that Volland moving would probably be just as good for Alario as long as they don't sign somebody else and the other thing to take note of is they are competing in Europe this year they've got Porto in the Europa League which is coming up and they actually got six IPD games in the next 30 days by my calculations, maybe seven. I'm just not sure exactly how they calculate that. But at 53p, every goal is like a 2% return and there's a good chance he's gonna start maybe two or three of those games. And when he came off the bench at the weekend, he scored a penalty. So when Volan's not on the pitch, he also takes pens. So that's a good sign. So here I've compiled all of Alerio's stats for the last three seasons since he moved to the Bundesliga. So his key passes, he's got one per game, which isn't too bad for a striker. Shots, I really like at 2.9 with 1.3 of those on target. That's usually a good stat for a striker. Um, attempted dribbles, 1.7. Again, that's, that's not too bad and 0.9 completed. So I, I usually look for one in key passes, on target shots and successful dribbles. So he's doing pretty good in that, that kind of area. And he also contributes quite a few tackles, more than most strikers, I'd say. And his passing stats at 25.6, that's not too bad for a striker. I'd probably like to see it more 30 to 35. But I think this player is a good pick for possible silver and bronze days when you you don't have the likes of Neymar and Messi playing. I think that he could win a you know star man or a top forward. And if you're winning on a silver day as a star man, then 8p return for a 53p player again is a really good return and he's, he's going to see quite a lot of capital appreciation off the back of that kind of win in this table i've got some stats that i've compiled for the five players that i'm going to use in the profit target analysis and there's a couple of numbers that i wanted to point out to you so the goals and assists per 90 over price is a ratio that just shows 
how good the relationship between the two are. And with 1.21, it showed that Alerio had the best ratio or the best value for money in terms of the goals and assists you're gonna get. And the interesting thing about that is our top target, Valt Vegas, has got 0.64 goals and assists per 90, which is exactly the same as Alerio. And he also has the same peak PB score, but he has less PBs over 150, which Alario actually has the most of any of the players that I use today. Then to finish off, we have the profit target analysis. I've used three different prices for Alario again, just to show the potential profit changes if the price increases after the video is released. And the two players that I used as my comparisons were Seferovic of Benfica and Karim Onisiwu of Mainz. So these players are both more expensive than Alario, and from the previous page, if you wanted to go back and look, they have lower goals and assists per 90. Severovic is not in a PB league, and honestly, is not in a Europa League or Champions League. For my low target, I went for Isaac Belfordil at Hoffenheim. So he has a lot of competition as a striker at Hoffenheim with De Boer and Kramerick. And he's also got a cruciate ligament injury he picked up in October. So for his price to be so much higher than Alerio's for me is kind of mind boggling. The other player who probably was actually sitting at a somewhat similar price to Alerio before he got his transfer to Lyon is Carl Toko Akambi. Again, he's not gonna be the first choice striker there with Dembele. And I think that that's a good example of what could happen if Alerio got a transfer or even just started playing a few games and got some good PV scores. And then to finish off, I have Wout Weghurst at Wolfsburg. Weghurst has got some advantages. They're also in the Europa League. I think they got a slightly easier tie. And they also, there's the option that Weghurst can go to the Euros with Holland. But again, I don't think he's gonna start even if he goes. And that's left us with a target profit range of 53% for the low through to 115% on the high end. And for me, I think the, the low and the mid are the target profits that I'm looking for in the short term by the end of the season. And the 115%, I think a couple of things maybe have to go our way, but I just see the risk on this player as being really low. I don't see a reason why his price would drop any further unless he got a season-ending injury. Um, he's not going to be at the Euros, which is bad, but I do think that his lack of game time is going to lead to some links. So after the Euros in July and August, I'm hoping he's going to get a boost from some transfer speculation because in the past he's actually been linked to the Prem a few times. That's all we've got for you on today's pick. Again, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you know someone else who might like the video, then sharing with them would really help me out. There are links in the description for signing up to Football Index and Football Index Edge if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel for more strategy videos and the other picks of the day. Most picks are long-term holds with depressed prices for some reason or other, so often the picks can still offer the same value, if not better, a few weeks after. And the research methods and reasoning can help if you're new to the index and want to learn to analyze your own players. Thanks for watching, good luck on the index.